Hey there fellows, Buddy's Bike here. To be honest, Mavericks are one of my favorite air to ground weapons. They are quite simple to use without the targeting pod, but their camera is not strong enough to look really far away. And by the time you see the targets, you're about to pass them. So what I love to use is targeting pod to lock onto the targets and shoot as many targets as I can in the single run. This process takes a lot of planning and practice, but when you're successful, it is just satisfying. So in this video, I will demonstrate how I operate the Mavericks. Enjoy the video, fellas. Alright, I got my loader set up and before I show you my loadout, there are some things I want to do so that I don't have to wait for them later. Is turn on the targeting pod and turn on Maverick so that both of these things just heat up so that I don't have to wait for them. And set my rockets to pair and want to turn on the head mounted display RWR and master arm on. I know you have to do this in the air but I kind of want to do this here. Now what I want to do is set a waypoint where of where the target is. A shorter method that I use is I use this small small software. It's uh, it's called the way. Uh, you just select a waypoint on the map, select point, and then I press F1 and begin to transfer. As you can see, this automatic system just uh, sets the waypoint. I don't have to type in everything. I, I'm just too lazy to do that. Okay, I'm going to close this now. Have my Maverick set to pre-mode so that I can use the targeting pods help to find the target. So, let me show you the loadout. So, what we got is the targeting pod and the fuel tanks in the center. And then I got the rocket pods and then three AGM-65s on each side. And then some air-to-air -air missiles which I won't be using in this mission. So the Maverick have turned on but the targeting pod is still heating up. So in the meantime I'm gonna take I'm gonna taxi to the runway and then by that time the targeting pod will be on and there's a small procedure to align the targeting pod and the Mavericks Maverick pylons which I will show you once the targeting pod has turned on. Alright, I might have not selected the targeting pod, let me check. Okay, yep, here's the targeting pod, and here is the weapon page. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is align the targeting pod and the Maverick. This is a really important step that it's better to do it on the ground. Otherwise, it's, gonna, it's very hard to do it in the air. So I'm just going to select a point, mm, select a prominent point somewhere. Uh, let's say it is this point over here, number one. So I'm just going to keep the point here, position track. And on the targeting pod, sorry, on the Maverick, I'm going to zoom in and it is this one right here. Alright, so this is aligned and okay, uh, lock and BSGT, this button right here. And it's gonna align now the targeting pod and the uh, weapons pylon. Now that's that. I'm gonna change the pylon and align this one as well. So you gotta like align both the pylons so that you don't have to do that in the air. Lock it up, BSGT, and both of them are set. Now I'm ready to take off and head to the waypoint where the enemy is. So increasing throttle slowly. This plane is a little bit. Um, a bit, a bit hard to control when trying to take. Oops, my tar Okay, my nose wheel strain was off, and uh, this was a little wonky takeoff. Full throttle, and nose wheel strain off. Pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, and gears up. All right, my targeting pod is set to the target. I'm gonna zoom out a bit so that I can see other targets as well. I have the cursor on the target, and the weapon, uh, sorry, yeah, the Maverick is also looking at the target, but as you can see, its camera is not powerful, so it's not really seeing much. So, 
the weapon is the weapon range is now showing because the target is target is somewhat close my speed is about 200 knots it's uh, it's quite low because uh, the plan is to go slow so that I have more time to you know shoot at the targets otherwise I just pass over them and it's, it's already too late because there's a lot you have to do when you're trying to shoot you know and uh, yeah so 14 miles just gonna wait a bit longer so that uh, the weapons in range and then I'll start I'll start and try to lock on to my enemies all right I'm at 290 knots and nine miles to the target so gonna zoom out a little more at the targeting pod and TMS up let's see if the lock is successful oh wait a second I forgot to have it on auto now it's on auto TMS down TMS up again and we have a lock rifle changing the target and also adjusting the angle TMS down TMS up no lock TMS down just gonna make some adjustment TMS up no lock here you go lock TMS up and no luck team is up again we have a lock rifle we have another lock rifle we have lock rifle we have lock rifle rifle and all the six rockets are shot and I'm going to get out of the way and fly level increase throttle okay it seems the okay I don't know how many targets I shot Let, let's just find out okay it seems six targets are down and I I guess I missed one yeah it's because I think I was getting too close my angle of attack was not so good and uh, yeah well you can actually get six targets but uh, I think it's gonna take a lot more practice than this so guys let me know in the comments below if there is any improvement I can make with my method of operating the Mavericks as always thanks for watching guys I'll see you in the next one buddy spike